Okay, so I'm doing a second taping because my first one's not that good. And I'm sorry for all the shaking because I'm giving you a tour and I'm walking around. But I have my lilies and I have my chives. These are chives. And I cut them back and um, they keep coming back, but I, off I cut them so many times. Right here are my thyme and they're just luscious and green. And I have this beautiful batch of sage. And then over here are all oregano. Try not to move too much. No. That's just going crazy. And then every now and then I have strawberries. So we're going to do a walk around here. And then I have this huge batch of parsley, which I never know why I plant so much. Then I have these rogue tomatoes. Well, I guess evidently I had some tomatoes in my chicken coop. And they, when we put the um, dirt out here, there were seeds just scattered everywhere. And they're just growing wild. And I just went ahead and let them grow. We're going to go ahead and pop these rogue tomatoes and donate them to a local food bank. And this is my potatoes. And I just plan them for the heck of them looking pretty. Um, they were going to be fun to harvest. We're going to see the difference between planting them in a pot and in the ground. And leaning over here. These are all tomatoes. 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 More tomatoes. More tomatoes. More tomatoes. You could tell all the tomatoes. Then I have some zucchini. I think this is a yellow variety. You can see the little yellow little fruits there. I have yellow on the other side too. And so let's move forward to the other side of the front bed. Now I usually do rows of stuff, so the tomatoes were not planned. But my front row would have contained beets. The second row is salad. As you can start starting to see the picture there. I'll stay here right here. Second row would be salad. Third row is spinach. Now anything that looks like it's flowering, those were all spinaches. And they just went crazy. So this is the front row. Just doing very, very good. And then I have my little baby bok choy. Moving to the corner. You know what? I'm going to go to the side yard. Let's walk our way to the side yard. And these are the very lucky and few tomatoes. Or some of the plants I put in the pots. And right here I have my first tomato of the season. Lucky, happy, happy, lucky. And I thin out these branches. I've had very successful with the with tomatoes. What you do is you count every third branch. You don't count... You don't cut this inside one, you cut the outside. So you go one, two, th two, and then look for a third one. Three right here. And then you would snip this. And what it does is it forces more energy into the fruit and not so much with the photosynthesis. Um, this is my new planted cherry tomatoes. This is my old planted tomatoes. And I have lemongrass. Now, did a couple tests, still learning, I'm still doing some more experiments with these. Um, they actually, I replanted them in 45 degree angle, and they are doing really, really well. More tomatoes. And then here's another batch of lemongrass. So that's, I'm going to go ahead and show you the other half in a second. These are garlic down here with some kale. So there's kale. And then I had some radishes. And this is one that's going to seed. And I just picked those all up. So then I have fennel, 
and in between I have a pepper along the side here these are the pepper plants and then over here I have eggplants then this right here are all carrots and I just transplant those carrots I know I'm kind of insane like that and then I have sugar snap peas in my big vine and then there's some flowers, some acronation flowers, an incantation. And there's more rogue tomatoes. And there's a broke sunflower. And I literally just chopped a lot of my rhubarb. And I'll show you my results in the kitchen. Here is some more beets. Good crop going. So over here I have dill. Now these don't look great because I transplanted them. And then over here I have the guan with carrots in the middle. If they die, they die. And then this right here is my horseradish. And then I have broccoli in between. And then that one is dill. So the other side was fennel. This is dill. Some lettuce. Just everywhere. Rogue tomatoes. Oh. Hold on. My husband wants to get in the camera. So I have some Echinacea now. Echinacea and marigold are beneficial plants. And the reason why I planted them all over the garden is because, and you can tell there's rope sunflowers everywhere, it's because I don't have to use pesticides. So here are some of my tomatoes, the bigger ones I actually bought. Got some marigold along the side there. And let's see here. That bush wasn't doing too well. So, so there's some marigolds, some poppy seeds, some chamomile. Chamomiles are these white flowers. And these are what is used in your chamomile tea. Now, rogue tomatoes again. So, this is a view coming from the bottom. And behind the kale, there's a rogue zucchini. And then down here are my strawberry beds. And the reason why I plant this, and here's my artichokes, they're everywhere. The reason why I plant this is because I had a problem with people walking their dogs and letting their dogs poop. So by me planting these strawberries, People don't let their dogs poop on my strawberry patch anymore. And there's my husband harvesting strawberries. Well, <laughs> he's supposed to. Look how much. I'm cheating. I do not know why he found a pot to put his strawberries in. But he's doing a great job. And with the fresh rhubarb that I just cut, I am going to make strawberry and rhubarb pie this evening. And then over here, a lot more flowers and potatoes. Here's potatoes. And some more beneficial plants and flowers just everywhere. A lot of lilies, powerful, powerful lilies. Oh, I like that. That's a pretty scene. Look at when my echinacea bloomed. This batch right here, I don't know what that plant's called, I don't care. My husband says they'll come back. I don't think so. So. And there's my Tropicana. And more Echinacea. And these right here are Isis. They're gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. They're succulent. And they're all dead right now because they already finished blooming. And I just transplant some more marigold. And this is my banana tree. That place that I'm pun saved. I will be putting out that zone 8 banana tree so it will bloom. But there is. Now you have to remember all these tears recent before we moved in here had bushes. I ripped them out. And it's turned into a full garden 
And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed my tour. Uh, I do have an update on the um, turmeric and what else? Turmeric and lemon lemongrass. So I'll update those later. But until then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.